What's the matter? All right, well, um, I'll talk a little bit about OPG setup. Of course, Hakuryu. Yeah, buddy. And Omati and Hakuryu. Cool. Uh, Republic, Yamato, Des Moines, Minotaur with Dr. Citadel. Uh, interesting. Hindenburg, Zhao, and Fratstar, and Zhao, and just one destroyer, a gearing. That's interesting, because we saw one destroyer team yesterday, and they struggled a bit on some of these map comps, so we'll have to see yeah. how this goes. Well, keep of course, mind. Rush B. Sorry, go ahead. Um, trying to think here. You just went, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so Rush B, of course. We said this on Amati and Hikuryu. We've got Republic and Yamato. Same on both teams. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody running a Montana. We saw quite a number of Montanas yesterday. Um, and then uh, Des Moines Hindenburg double zap. That's really interesting. And then double gearing. So um, something interesting to note, obviously, as Zath already pointed out, OPG is uh, is bringing the Republic and the Yamato. Um, Rushby has a Zhao Zhao and Hindenburg as three of their four cruisers, and not only can the Yami overmatch, of course, everybody knows that, but some out there might not realize that the Republic's guns are also able to overmatch their deck armor as well. So those cruisers really can't angle from both of the BBs that OPGs bring. Correct. Um, and the Republic, of course, has that insane uh, reload, so uh, you you might be able to think you can make that turn, and then, oh, no, you, you couldn't. <laughs> Indeed. Mm -hmm. Rush B here going for a bit of an AC split early. We've got Des Moines and Zhao headed to A, backed by backed by uh, John's Republic. And then we've got uh, Dastard's Yamato, uh, Zhao Hindenburg, and Gearing headed to C. And then one of the Gearings, let me figure out who this is, a loop. A loop is is in the middle of the map, just north of B. Looks like he was spotted by planes. A lot of shells coming in for him right now. He cut oh. his engine. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, focus firing is... Woof. Yep, they caught a whiff. They caught a whiff of him, and everybody pulled the trigger. Uh, but he literally just dropped, just just pulled back the handbrake, stopped, and took near no no shells. Yeah, OPG. One thing that I noticed about them from playing, oh, Akak just took a big hit. Yeah, decent hit early there. Uh, is that OPG is really good at focus firing, um, and we kind of saw that just now with all the the volume of shells coming in on that gearing there on a loop. Uh, one thing I want to mention real quick is. Keep in mind that Zhao, Zhao, and Minotaur, all three of those have very good stealth. So even though they don't have a destroyer, they kind of have three more <laughs> destroyers. It's true. I mean, Great Baron being the only gearing on OPG's side of the map, it looks at, at first glance like a bit of a, a bit of a, uh, um, I would say a team comp challenge for them to overcome. But if they play it well, maybe not necessarily, because like you say, those two Zhaos and the, the Minotaur also have very, very good stealth. Right, we see uh, gear, uh, the Great Baron, the Gearing, smoking up uh, Akak right now, trying to keep him alive so he can try to get out of there. Yeah, Akak under a lot of focus fire there early from this Rush B team north of uh, north of C. A lot of Yamato shells and some Zhao and some Hindenburg uh, HE going in at him before he was uh, covered up by his teammates' smoke there. There are some torpedoes that are going to catch the very edge of the OPG smoke screen down at the southern end of C. There's at least one set of five coming in, Zath. Do you see those torpedoes coming through the bottom end of C? Not yet. All right, there's one set of five. Well, there might be more on the way. Given that given that the destroyer went kind of uh, across, like down um, about a stern in terms of the smoke, how the smoke got laid, there's probably nobody up there for them to hit. No, uh, Baron actually is just now getting into the torpedo field, and of course he torpedo beats easily. The first set, we're about to see the second, I'm guessing. Oh, Turkish, Turkish takes a big hit way over here on the on the two line. Losing about half his health in a single salvo there. I'm not sure if that was Zhao AP or Republic AP, but it was something big. I think that was the Zhao, either Derek or Fratstar. Yeah, very well might have been. Yeah. Very well might have been. That's something that um, a lot of people really need to take note of. Zhao AP is no joke. It's almost as lethal as Hindenburg. Obviously, it just, you know, the Zhao doesn't have the DPM to take advantage of it as often. Well, there's a reason that Zhao's became so popular as the season, the clan battle seasons progressed mm -hmm. um, because of the stealth and because of that ability to that, that AP ambush, essentially, that they can uh, they can quickly, uh, quickly unleash. Ducky taking some more focus fire over here at uh, A as well. Down under half health already. We aren't even at the five minute mark of the match. OPG is definitely getting the early hit point advantage. They got 483k well, compared to 421 yep. for Rush. Also, B. The, 
Also, the early cap advantage, they're well ahead, well on their way to bagging. C, Grey Baron's got great island protection down there. I'm not sure there's any way to really get Turkish. shells on him. No, Turkish just the torpedo bombers. Damage. Sorry to interrupt. Turkish nope, yep, I see it. Yeah, Turkish he takes took another a, big hit. He took another hit from the uh, from the Republic, and we kind of see that coming in. The, the penalty for getting spotted by air is huge. Stream. Indeed. A loop now working the top end of B, probably going to pick that up momentarily for Rush B as OPG becomes the first team in the game to pick up a cap, cap bagging C as we hit the five minute mark. Yeah, it uh, looks like Rush B is playing a little too far away from C to be able to hold it or, or do anything to really contest. Uh, that gearing that's up there, Ducky, I'm guessing, um, north of C, I, I mean, what can he do at this point? A loop's gearing out of smoke north of B, running from a torpedo strike now, coming in from uh, the OPG carrier. A4, yep. And watch like the shells awesome. as they come in from all over the place. Well, nobody seems to have really good shots on him right now, but he is mm -hmm. getting cross-dropped. He's going to take one. Yep, he does does take one torpedo down to about 4,000 HP. As both Rush B destroyers now getting beat up very early here. Oh, barely six minutes gone as both of them are badly wounded. And, and right there, gents, that is the thing that you need to do if you only bring one destroyer. You need to chunk down the other two DDs, and quite frankly, OPG has done an amazing job at that. So this game is now insanely hard for Rush B because their DDs well, just can't take hits, really. Yeah. A loop wasn't able to bag B either. They drove him off before, I assume, from Des Moines radar. Um, Watch Turbo Moines down there. Of course, there was. Ooh, Ooh. Turbo He's given up health, but he's going to survive to make it in, it looks like. Zhao reload, not really not really long enough to be a serious threat. And Dr. Citadel looks like, I think he's radared. Public AP coming in for Derek. A little bit of damage there, but not much. More Zhao AP. Turbo working the edge of this cap, but it looks like he's going to steer right back out of it. I'm a little surprised. Why would you have done, gone in there, given up all that HP? Okay, there you go. He's, he's, he's trying to cut closer to the island. He's trying to Ooh, angle to the Republic big. and to the Zhao, but and that's Zao. hurting him. It's tough. Yeah, another big Zhao hit coming in there. He is going to survive to make it into the cap. Now, how sure long is he can survive to bag the cap, I cannot say. Derek getting another nice, uh, pretty decent chunk right there, about three, 4,000. But um, like I mentioned earlier, there's some places there in the cap, especially down at that uh, the southwestern corner. You can see all those low-lying parts of the island. Derek is still going to be able to get shells in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's going to be able to find a, a little hideout to, you know, shield himself from all those different angles. And here comes more from Derek. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There wow. It is. Derek with a great shot through the island gap there, leaving Turbo on barely a left, barely a thousand health. Yep. And the thing is, more now he's in, continuing to come in. He's in hydro range of Dr. Citadel, right? So as soon as uh, he can't the hide, raiders, there it is. There's the hydro. He can't hide in there, and I'm confident that Deprived Pickles Yamato is, is trying to get shots, angling to see if he can get bob shells over the island. Yeah, this is quite crazy, seeing this uh, near-dead Des Moines, and then Dr. Citadel's shells just going right over his head. Just going right over him. Yeah, yeah I'm Turbo's going to cap A. I mean, that's going to happen. But, wow, what he had to give up to do it. He, yeah, he had to give up about 50k of his own hit points. Yeah, just Rush, Rush B is on a huge health disadvantage mm -hmm. right here, as, as we uh, got 12 minutes left to play. Yeah, and... I mean, obviously, he'll have a heal or two coming, I'm sure, but can he stay alive to even be able to use his heal? I mean, the corner that he's in right there is... Oh. oh. Yep. Duck. Ducky's gearing was the first casualty of the game. Des Moines Akak is now starting to shoot at Turbo, as Turbo heals. Both OPG's owls have been heavily focused. They're both quite low. Derek on the one line and Fratstar on the ten line. But um, they keep popping in and out of visibility and uh, no really good view on Turbo's healing now, back up over 8,000 HP, it's hit points he badly needs. Absolutely. But, I mean, the control now, is still going yep. towards OPG here. Oh, huge. Grey Baron is now in B. Looks Rush like B is now... Go ahead. Uh, so sorry, sorry, Zach. There was some torpedo hit. I think one at the southern end of C cap in that smoke yep. screen. Is that correct? I caught it. It was Akak. -Ak, took it on the nose. It looked like he instant DCP'd. He's probably going to get spotted very soon now. Smoke is out. Okay. Rush B trailing by well over 200 points here as OPG is about to go up on caps and ships as we approach the halfway mark of the match. Yep. Ak Ak is now healing. Turbo is spotted again. They're still spotted at 10k now. Now, here's a question, something that I can't quite answer. And that is, 
What is a loop doing? He's been kind of hanging around the top end of B, but not really doing much else. It almost I seems guess like waiting for Grey Baron to back off so he can try and get back into the cap and, and maybe potentially risk trying to cap it again. I, I don't know. It almost seems like um, they don't know what to do. They don't know who to shoot at. Um, they're they're kind of stuck. It was interesting. Now Daster just fired a salvo at deprived pickle. I, I mean, sure you can chunk him down a little bit, but. I don't, I don't see that as a very productive use of the battleship, especially with with the Pride bow on. Certainly not when you've got full broadside to those yep. ships. I see it. Oh, Certainly wow. not when you've got two squishy cruisers down there that you'd much rather be shooting at, of course. Yeah, that's what I mean. Maybe they weren't spotted. Well, Daster looks like he's going to use this island off his starboard side as as hard cover, and that's actually not a bad play. It allows him to put pressure on those cruisers. Um, without having to take much retaliatory damage from the Des Moines and the Yamato over there between B and C. They really won't be able to get shells over that island at it. And uh, something else to note, uh, guys. Oh, Ooh, there's there's a loop. Takes care of loop. There goes oh, a loop. A loop there. spotted by planes, I assume. I guess they had planes out looking for him. Yeah. There's still well, shells falling in. Um, with one surviving destroyer, <laughs> OPG holds that destroyer advantage now for sure as they're up almost 400 points. And at this point, it's virtually GG. I mean, yeah. Rush B is just going to have to start getting kills, but the thing for OPG is they have two caps to one, so even if they do lose a ship or two here, well, they still have two They've got time. Two caps. Yeah. yeah, exactly. OPG wins. play here. Go Assuming ahead. nothing happens, OPG wins in three minutes and 30 seconds on points. As Dastard is now coming under focus fire from OPG. Yeah, I'm, a little, I'm really surprised to see Daster having turned to put his bow back in that direction where the, the Des Moines can just keep continue to shell him endlessly rather than use the other side of the island. Mm -hmm. Kind of drive those cruisers back. Almost like he's just trying to cover... Um, he's trying to get a shot, I think, on Akak -Ak is probably what he's doing. Revan Ross making a bold play here, pushing C. Assuming that, uh, presumably, they you know they know they've got to do something here, but he's under obviously spotted somehow under a tremendous yeah. amount of fire. Spotted by bombers. air. There's bombers nearby. Uh, I see. Yep, I see the torpedo strike coming in on his starboard side now. And I mean, this is OPG here. Focus fire. And and if he keeps and obviously he's continuing to creep a little bit closer to where the point is in the, uh, the smoke screen. So it looks like he's, he's going to take it. He's going to take at least one torpedo. Giving up a tremendous amount of health again, 7,000 HP, but they know they've got to do something. 1,000 HP now, more shells coming in. I think he's out right here. There he goes. Good bye. Third kill of the game for OPG is they're up three ships now on Rush B, almost sick, almost oh, well over 500 points in the lead. Yeah, one minute and 50 seconds remaining at the most. As Red Russian just takes a, a torpedo from the gear, that means his yeah, DCP is probably out. So I'm assuming they've rotated Grey Baron back to this side of the map. Grey Baron is on the seaside still, yes. Yeah, where he can spot and torpedo things. Turbo Cam now at 17,000 uh, HP, but it really doesn't matter much as Red Russian is now on double fires. Maybe make that three if it hits in the right spot. Ooh, good hits right there. On Red Russian. Um, I don't know about you guys, but this has been... Quite the shellacking that OPG has been able to dish out. Indeed, I was hey. I was ex I was anticipating um, Rush B looking better than this, but this is just this has been all OPG's game from almost from the very start. Rush mm -hmm. B does bag a kill way over on the one line, as John the Ruthless finally uh, finally bags Derek Slide Zhao. You notice how these guys are all running the same camo too? At least I think they are on Rush B. <laughs> they are. They're all running one of those fancy Asian ones. Yeah, the 400% camo. At least mm -hmm. it's not the school bus camera. <laughs> <laughs> we saw that Russian last night. Continue when you get focused down now. Yeah, 700 HP and falling. He'll be out shortly. Yeah. He works whoop up the edge of the map. Daster Ooh. bags Frat Star, but it uh, it's a he would trade as pickle bags Red Russian. Yeah, I didn't notice where Frat Star got taken care of from, but yeah, like. Again, OPG has now lost two ships, but who cares? Because they still have two of the three caps, so they're still, over time, going to be accumulating, obviously, uh, more points than Rush B, so... Uh, Frat right. died right here in the right. top corner of H6. Yep. Okay. You can see the silhouette on the mini-map. Yep, gotcha. I think what happened was he got caught out by um, those fighters, he got spotted by air, Dastard immediately reacted, and took him out. He just got caught out of position. 
Turbo Cam has seems to have decided his time in A is over as he pushes for the center of the map now, coming out of A. Doesn't really have much of a choice. Rush B knows they've got to make a play, do something. Yep. Dr. Citadel looking pretty low, but it doesn't matter. Pickle bags, Dastard. And that pushes OPG to win the hair's breadth of victory here. Literally seconds to play here on Sleeping Giant as Rush B hoping for a miracle to extend the game. Doesn't look like it's nope. going to materialize. Game one I in the books. Deprived Pickle with, I believe, a trifecta of kills right there. Very accurate shooting in the Yamato. Mm hmm. Both Yamato players, very good. Yeah. Dastard getting some good shots in too. With wow, the plane that kills. Was, that was impressive. OPG came out looking like a top tier team and they shoved it to Rush B. So we'll see well, what they do in this second game, guys. But that was impressive. OPG, actually, I mean, they are a top tier team. There's no question they're a top tier team. But, um, you know, when you, when you sit down to a match of, of two teams of this caliber, you expect a good game. But there are times, right? I mean, you see this even at the pro level of every sport ever known to man. There are times, even pros, even teams that are highly skilled, they just get steamrolled. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. I mean, I, I guess I uh, I didn't articulate it good enough. Um, yeah, so OPG is definitely right at the top tier. It's just um, they got bounced in the last tournament in the round of eight by PSV, which I'll be honest with you, surprised pretty much everybody. So they're definitely hungry. And um, all they need is one more game to get to the, uh, the semifinals. So we'll absolutely, see, we'll see what happens with this game. Looking, too. OPG looking solid today. Probably out for blood, looking to avenge their their you know nominally early exit from the last.